A new facility helping the homeless and those struggling with addiction opening today in Kensington, one of the areas certainly hardest hit by the opioid epidemic. Our Jeff Cole is live to tell us more about the Inn of Amazing Mercy, as it's called. Jeff. You got it, Jason. Listen, some folks would argue that Kensington may be ground zero for the opioid crisis really in this country. The Inn of Amazing Mercy. This is a project by Project Home, well known here in the city of Philadelphia. The idea here is to give folks a bed, give them some services, and maybe a better future in a community that certainly does need lots of help. With a snip of giant scissors, the Inn of Amazing Mercy opens its doors, offering a home, health care, drug rehab, and maybe a better future for the homeless living in ground zero of the opioid crisis, Kensington. The problem remains immense, however. The problem is immense, and there is hope. Today is an important step forward. The only way you get to the finish line is taking one step at a time. With $27 million mostly in private donations, Project Home, the longtime nonprofit battling homelessness, has rehabbed this multi story brick building to offer a bed to 62 residents and give them a kitchen, workout room, a place to gather, and a path free of addiction. Rick Peterson, homeless for 35 years and recently able to kick heroin, arrived in March. It's fantastic. You know, um, it gives you a sense of self, it gives you a sense of responsibility it gives you when you have a home base you have a purpose you have a way to work you have a foundation the day started with a glitzy ceremony with speeches from big dollar donors who put millions into the hands of project home co-founder sister mary scullion who with today's event marks 1,000 units of housing opened by her group it is not time to say goodbye because i will cry on that day at the podium, an emotional rocker and donor, John Bon Jovi, speaking of Scullion's pending retirement. What I see at the Inn of Amazing Mercy is hope. I see a community that is committed to ending and preventing chronic homelessness and finding real solutions to the crisis that has gripped this country. Project Home's motto sits high on the Inn of Amazing Mercy, offering hope in Kensington, where it seems in short supply. Project Tone is not the solution. We have the way, and we understand what is necessary. The solution lies in all of us. Sister Mary Scullion there. Project Home actually provides medical services to people on the streets of Kensington. They've actually got a place here now to bring some of them in and provide further medical care. Live in Kensington, Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Jason.